The federal government is officially shut down partially with lawmakers continuing negotiations to reach an agreement. The shutdown comes after the Senate failed to vote on legislation approved by the House. Lawmakers say the bill containing $5.7 billion for the southern border wall didn't have enough votes to pass the Senate. Senators say the next bill they vote on in the upper chamber will be a bill they believe can pass in both chambers. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he and his colleagues will continue negotiating until a deal has been reached. One America's Luke Glaze explains how the shutdown impacts the country. As Republicans and Democrats argue over who is responsible for the government shutdown, many Americans are wondering what will happen next. A government shutdown occurs whenever Congress fails to pass legislation funding federal agencies or when the president vetoes the bill. In this case, it comes after Democrats refuse to approve $5 billion of funding for construction on the border wall. They're not getting it for the wall, plain and simple. It's important to note that this is only a partial shutdown because Congress has already approved about three quarters of the federal budget through September 2019. The agencies yet to be funded include the Departments of State, Treasury, Transportation, Justice and Homeland Security, affecting about 800,000 federal workers. So-called essential staff will continue working. For example, the Postal Service, TSA and Air Traffic Control will conduct business as usual, while non-essential employees will be sent home on furlough. But most agencies give their employees back pay once they return. As for what the shutdown will cost the country, it depends on how long it lasts. At the high end of the scale, a 16-day shutdown in 2013 cost an estimated $24 billion in lost productivity. However, most shutdowns are significantly shorter, lasting just a few days on average and resulting in a fraction of that cost. It all depends on how quickly Congress will be able to come to an agreement on a spending bill. President Trump tweeted a video Friday night encouraging lawmakers to act quickly so the affected departments can get back to work. Call it a Democrat shutdown, call it whatever you want, but we need their help to get this approved. So Democrats, we have a wonderful list of things that we need to keep our country safe. Let's get out, let's work together, let's be bipartisan, and let's get it done. The shutdown hopefully will not last long. Thank you very much. Luke Glaze, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.